Good morning, friends. In the previous video, we we just see that how we solved the, this problem uh, one uh, with the naive approach using thread one, thread two, and thread three. Now in this now in this video, we'll cover the follow up where we use computable features to solve the same. So I have my IntelliJ open now, and let's write uh, some uh, unit test cases uh, to answer that. So I will create. I'll copy this. The first one was using the threads and the neighbor interface. Uh, so I will just control uh, V here, and uh, it would be again the parameterized test. It will I will take the same input arrays as given here, but I will uh, test sort and merge using completable future. So I'll change the name here, compute completable future. Okay, uh, sort and merge using completable futures here as well for a display name. Okay. I uh, take the same name here as well. Control V. So this method is not created here, so it's going red. So all enter create method. Okay. Now, because we are going to use completable feature here, but we do the precondition same as the previous uh, method for threads. So I will just copy this because uh, this is the precondition, and we should return as soon as possible if the input is not correct. Now, as we have learned in our previous uh, exercise, that for sorting odd or even, we can use this stream format where we are getting the input array, filter based on the odd or even, and then sort it and return it. Right. So this we can do in only in like one statement here using completable futures. So I'll show you how. So first of all, I will call completable future. Okay. Dot supply async method. Supply async method means that it will run this whatever the uh, supplier that we are giving inside it with an along with executor. So I will use a default executor here. So I will use the first method here, and uh, it will be running asynchronously. That's why it's, it's supply async. But but supply it means that it will return a value back, and that value would be actually uh, the int combined array that we want out of this exercise. We want to get our uh, this uh, result of so, uh, sorted even numbers followed with uh, sorted odd numbers, right? So this is what we want to get back from it. That's why we I call supply uh, async. Otherwise, we could call just simply call run async if we don't want to return anything. So I will just mark it as quickly. I mean, I will just create uh, uh, the, the holder for this completable future. And it would be an int array, OK? Because int array is an object. That's why we can use it in our gen generic formats. And it would be just future, right? And now I will write it here. Supply async. Now, first of all, thing is that I will pass a lambda here. Supply. I mean the supplier. You can say, uh, which will sort it at the same way as we have done in the previous exercise. So take the stream of the input array. Okay. And then, first of all, we will filter for even numbers, right? Because we have to put even numbers first. Uh, I will better use it like this. Okay. Filter. And then again, for even numbers, the modulo for 2 should be equal to 0, right? And this is how we, so we filter out the, the even numbers. Sorry. And uh, okay. Now we have to port call dot sorted and dot to array. Okay, so this actually covers the first part that this will just sort the all the even numbers first. Okay, and once we are done with this, then there's a very good method pro, uh, available in um, computable future API is that we can directly call combine method. This is what I'm going to do, then combine because we have to combine this sorted. This sorry, this is for even number, right? I just call it evens. This is filtering even and then sorting it. And now we have to combine it with the odd, right? So again, I can just pass users then combine with the sorted odd array. This all can be done in a single line. This is the beauty of this computable future API. Although it's like a little bit like uh, not very intuitive to like follow it, but uh, in the single statement, we can do all this, like sorted, sorting the even number, sorting the odd, even uh, odd array, and then 
uh, combining it together in just one statement and also all asynchronously so again i will call this supply async inside this it will uh, again sort this odd number uh, asynchronously by using this and here again i will call this everything to array right to array and i will mark it as odds for odds it should be not equal to zero okay to array and then i will mark it as uh, separated and because i have to pass a, a lambda here right where we are i'm going to combine it as we know that now at this point we have already sorted evens and then combined using the odds number and now i need to just uh, concat it using the merge I and mean, the same it's a similar way that how we do uh, in the merge arrays we are using this concat format okay so here i will use the same after doing using this i will take the lambda where i will uh, pass sorted events first sorted events and sorted odds i will mark this as two uh, lambda uh, arguments and this lambda would be giving me i will just copy this uh, maybe from here to array sorted okay so I'll just copy it here and it should be sorted events okay sorted events sorted odds that's it um, let me little bit format it control alt l okay to array and then i will just finish it i think i have one extra this is not done okay now let's uh revise it again that what we have done so we are passing the supply async right this all is coming all this uh inside the or whatever we are doing inside it it will uh, be run into a uh into uh, asynchronously into separate threads okay so first part is that we sort sorted the events and then we come call this then combined method and again we uh, call this supply async where we are uh sorting all the odd arrays and then combining it because it's a by, by function that's why it's combining both sorted even and sorted dots using this instant.concat and it in a two array and this result is will be written back and then we will get a future set uh for the final result of combined array with int as well as a generic parameter okay so just uh if we just break this down this is like uh, it's just like uh taking care of the number of parentheses and uh closing it correctly but uh, theoretically it's very much uh, simple i mean uh, much easier and to follow than the what we have done for sort or sorry even in merge arrays because it's just using the in the, in the same line and using the the uh, the awesome api of completable future now we already have got this future set which will be having this final uh, combined array with the uh, sorted uh, events first followed with sorted odd arrays so let's print it out and see whether it's correct or not so for this i will just call future thread dot get method okay because this get will return me this and uh, i was directly call print method here okay so print will give me this array and i will uh, because it will throw in an exception so i will just surround with try catch okay uh alt enter i will collapse the catch blocks and do like this okay mark it as final again so let's so guys let's revise what we have done using completable futures although it looks like a little bit of like a uh, spaghetti code but it's uh if you just go by block by block it's very easy to understand so here we cup uh, supply supply async we sort the events arrays first then we call then combine inside this then combine there are two parameters that we have passed the first parameter is we are uh, sorting the odd array and in the second parameter we are sorting uh, we are combining this uh, both sorted events and sorted odds and returning the two array method uh sorry control z okay returning this two array method uh back into our future thread so this future thread would be already uh completed and uh, once we call this get method it will wait and complete this exercise first before it gives me return back the combined integer array and then we finally print it here now let's run our test case to assert that this is all good so i already created this test cases test case for uh testing uh, completable features 
Now let's run this. I can remove this interface section because this uh, nothing is thrown here. Okay. So now we uh, once we use this parameterized test, it will take all these three input arrays and uh, uh, sort and uh, sort odd even and everything, and then uh, print the results for the combined array. So let's run this. I click the run button here. It's running. Okay, so it has run. So and this is the combined result that has been printed. We can see that for the first input, it has sorted all the even numbers first, followed with the odd arrays. Similarly, for these two input arrays from one to eleven and eleven to one, it has sorted the even numbers first, two, four, six, eight, ten, and followed with the odd numbers. And both should be same irrespective of uh, whatever the sequence that we have in ascending or descending order it would be sorting the even first followed with the odd numbers so guys this was all about problem one statement we sorted uh, and merged the odd and even numbers using multi setting first of all we tried with thread and variable and then the trigger part we used computable features in the next video we will look at problem two where we will do random sampling so see you all in the next video